Okay everyone, welcome back. Um, this time I have something new, the Fujifilm XH2S and it's a pretty busy, busy camera and I'm not going to do a review on it or anything like that, there's plenty of those online but I'm just going to talk about some of the things that nobody is telling you about this camera and I think they're pretty important especially if you are already a Fujifilm user especially if you have cameras like the X-T4 and the X-T3 so I made a list here so I'm just going to go through it okay first 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 thing this camera is really big it's really chunky and it's really heavy uh, it's like 660 grams and the X-T4 is uh, I think it's 610 grams and this camera is very very substantial in in all in all dimensions so if you're coming from a an X-T4 or an X-T3 which is even smaller or an X-T2 which is even smaller from what I understand you need to get ready for the girth and the weight that this camera brings with it you, it will definitely not go unnoticed okay second and this one was a, a, a kind of a even bigger surprise to me the nipple button here on the back uh, if you never used one before and being that you are probably a Fuji user you're used to that uh, let me get it let me get my X S then you're probably used to this joystick thing this little plastic joystick joystick which I really really love but with this you really have to like sort of relearn how to use it because it's very different you don't just push it to the side like this like you would do with the joystick on the XS10 you, you essentially have to like press on the edges of it to move it and if you're not used to that you're going to try to move it like this like move the whole thing and it's not going to work or it's barely going to work and it's going to be like pretty annoying it, it takes some getting used to but uh, yeah it's not that big of a deal okay let's see number three shutter button is super sensitive uh, after i got this camera i wanted to like test it a bit around the house like just focusing on objects and i would end up just taking a lot of pictures uh, without wanting to and i own the X-S10 and I also own the X-T4 which I'm using to film right now and uh, the shutter button, the shutter mechanism is like it's completely different to any other Fujifilm camera that uh, you might have used so just get ready to make even more adjustments here because it's, it's super sensitive okay let's move on the buttons yeah this is probably the biggest adjustment the buttons on the X-H2S are really really different to the X-T4 and the X-S10 and all the other Fujifilm stuff they're really like I don't know if you can see it on the film but they really stick out they feel like M&M's they essentially feel like candy like M&M's and they're like they they have a really rounded uh, shape to them and you have to press them really far in you have to press them really far in, in order to to get them to actuate uh, which is a bit of a problem because sometimes when you're like if you're filming or taking pictures the fact that you have to press so deep on the buttons will essentially move the camera in your hand because you're ugh, see you're just one thing to press it and because the travel is so uh, long you start moving, moving the camera in your hand i found this especially obvious with uh, the front button here 
which on my X-T4 I used to activate and deactivate the face detection and whenever I press that front button it, it essentially like moves the camera it moves it in my hand so uh, I find that a bit tr uh, troubling uh, the buttons on the X-T4 are much much better now this of course you can get used to them but i doubt they'll ever be as good as the ones on the xt4 because on those you just click them they actuate they activate whatever function or stuff you have assigned to them and that's that no no headache or anything like that okay moving to number five the high-res evf screen sounds really nice i don't know it's like five point something million dots EVF 120 Hertz uh, refresh rate yeah it's cool but if you only already have the XT4 when you're going to okay and I need to start by saying that my eyesight is not the best I'm wearing glasses so my eyesight is not perfect by by a long shot so I guess this is just for people with eyeglasses you will not really notice the difference you will not really notice the difference between this EVF and the XT4. That's just my experience. Some people with better eyesight, they might notice it and might think it's really cool. But me, I don't really notice it. I mean, I notice the difference between the XS10 and the XT4. But between the XT4 and the XH2S, I don't really see it. It's good because you get 120Hz, maybe it's better if you're shooting wildlife and sports and stuff like that. But I haven't really tested the camera in those kinds of situations. So yeah, make with that what you will. Okay, the C1, number 6, <laughs> the C1 to C7 modes are absolutely amazing for video. Like when i first got this camera let me let, let me change this screen here to make it like this so it's it's more visible uh, when i first got it i thought that this c1 to c7 modes were kind of a gimmick like like a bit too many of them and maybe not that useful but after getting it uh, I take all that back these things are amazing and I'll show you why first I have it in video mode and I have it like in DCI mode that's like an extended 4k 24 frames right C7 DCI 30 frames per second um, C6 uh, DCI 60 frames per second so it's just that so much easier to switch between the frame rates uh, C um, C5 what we have here uh, DCI 120 frames per second that's amazing C4 we have uh, 6.2k 24 frames per second C3 6.2k 30 frames per second and then C2 and C1 I haven't really assigned them they, they, they're like in photo mode uh, the PSA PASM dial is it's okay. Uh, I like the XT4 dials, although I don't really use them. That, that's the the weird part. I like the XT4 dials, the shutter speed in the ISO and the exposure composition. I like the way they look aesthetically, but when it comes to actually using the camera. In the field i find that i don't really have time or patience to necessarily like use them so for me this is much much better okay moving on number seven the last uh, thing i'm going to talk about is the grip the grip of this camera and this this right here is the main reason that I have bought this camera uh, I come from my first camera which was like an entry-level Nikon D5300 and Nikon has great grips and then when I switched to Fuji and uh, I switched to the X-T4 I had to buy a small rig grip to make it to be able to hold it in my hand especially with bigger lens 
and but it it never felt quite right it never felt quite as comfortable uh, as it uh, as my old entry-level Nikon did so I always miss that feeling of just grabbing a camera and being able to effortlessly hold it because it has such a nice grip okay now the problem is the following this grip is just okay it's not amazing is just okay it gives you a little bit of uh, space to hold it and that's that the problem is is the camera body is so thick that you don't really get enough enough space to put your fingers here so I wish the dip was grip uh, sorry <laughs> I wish the grip was deeper uh, either the grip taller or the body thinner something something around there to help, help me hold the camera better now the best grip in the entire Fujifilm lineup is the XS10 and this grip is just absolutely amazing this right here this this is the best possible grip out of any Fujifilm camera this is the reason I'm not going to sell this uh, XS10 because it's just such a comfortable uh, camera to hold with uh, especially with this small 45 f2 is just a dream to use like for family stuff and even for travel stuff it's a small comfortable camera that is easy to hold and easy to use okay that's about it i told you these things that i haven't really seen uh, be mentioned in other reviews and stuff for all the technical mumbo jumbo which is useful you can go to another channel but i just wanted to share these insights with you of my experience with the xh2s i'll see you guys uh, next time take care